intro. Welcome back to Minecraft, where I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I've been playing for 10 minutes with my mic plugged out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, thankfully, you didn't miss anything because it was literally just me coming back going, what am I doing? And then starting to build a bit of a uh, mob spawner off to the side of uh, my island. Basically, I just started making a platform, uh, a, dark, a dark platform, basically, uh, to spawn Enderman so that I could continue doing what I've been doing, which is going to the nether to look for the fortress, going underground to look for diamonds and yada, yada, yada. Uh, and then every time I come back, I just check for Enderman, basically. Uh, so I came down here because I ran out of cobble, unfortunately, and I only noticed that my mic was off <laughs> when I went to check the time, which, uh, yeah, that wasn't terribly intelligent. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, as I said, haven't missed much, uh, just really a couple of, a couple of minor things like my camera milking up and, uh, uh, me thinking that mobs spawn and half slabs, which they don't. Yeah, a couple of minor things. Am I next to a cavern or a spawner? Interesting. Hmm. Definitely next to something. I might actually mine right past whatever it is. I need to make more torches now. Uh, I'm gonna throw away this granite. I just straight up don't need it. Uh, hmm. Am I out of coal entirely? Good thing this coal is over here then. I'm gonna drop down into the goddamn cavern our day. <laughs> Alright. I've, I've gotta make more torches, unfortunately, so. Gotta collect all this coal. That's why I was hoarding it, hoarding it earlier. Because I tend to burn through torches. It's getting dark on a. Uh, yeah, the recording's get, uh, the recording always gets darker than the actual game, unfortunately, so... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so let me think. How many torches am I gonna make? Wait, did I pick up any of that coal? Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was about to lose my shit. I was about to lose my reason. So, let's see. Hmm. What on earth is going on? I kind of want to know. I feel like I'm going to regret this. That sounds like a lot of zombies. Are they above me? Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> That's one way to die. Alright, um... <laughs> Nearly ambushed me, you little blighter. Oh, this is this is a bad place to be. Come on then, drop in. Whoa. Well, that zombie died from one hit, what the hell? There's a creeper there as well. Where is he? Aha! Ah. <laughs> He's totally gonna drop on me. Well, that was surprisingly easy. I expected that to be much worse, to be honest. Come on. Come on, Spidey. Die. Die again. Sort of. I don't know. Were zombies undead in this? Or are they, like, infected? I'm not getting into that debate. <laughs> hmm. This might be what they would have been uh, dying from. Make sure I don't lose my way because I'm gonna bloody start exploring again. Just the bane of my existence. Exploring, getting lost. I wish I actually needed you for something, but I don't, really don't. I've got no reason to be exploring down here. Get out of here. Give me that. Oh, god damn it. Granite, get out of my inventory. <laughs> the feeling all the bloody extra blocks added in my, uh, at 1.8 are going to be the bane of my existence here. Alright, there's no reason for me to be, to be in here. I just got distracted by all the noise. Oh, just 
iron. That's fine. I don't need any of that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to collect this stuff. Uh, I don't need the extra iron. Uh, do I have any more crap in here that I just don't need? <sighs> Not really. Gold's good. And a side. There we go. Mm, more coal. I don't terribly need it, but you saw it quickly. I ran out of torches, so... There we go. Okay. Uh, how many stacks have we got? Oh, nearly two. Okay. I'm going to keep going until I have the two. I say as I start using it up. <laughs> okay. It is so hot out today. It is actually sweltering. It was actually so hot for me that I began to worry when I was standing out waiting for a bus that I, I should have brought sunscreen with me. And I very, very rarely burn. So, uh, that tells you a lot. Alright, that's two stacks. I kind of want to carry the rest of that, but I don't think there's anything I want to throw away. Uh, I don't need... I don't need the string that badly. Yeah, that's fine. Because I've, I've got a bow, I've got a uh, fishing rod, and I'm not going to bother making wool for a bed. <laughs> Which I could, I could do, I just, I don't need it to be night. <laughs> Sorry, I don't need it to skip the night to, um, today. One of it for that. And one of it for that. And I'll come back down for you eventually. I don't know when that eventually will be, but... Yeah, eventually. Alright, so it's night out. Oh, it's night out. Uh, huh. Forgot to seal off my platform is a problem. Nah, nothing, nothing came over. That's fine. I might finish it off, actually. That's what I went down for in the first place. So basically, uh, there's an underlayer of half slabs, and I'm now covering it with regular, uh, regular um, cobblestone pieces because they don't spawn on goddamn half slabs, which makes it pointless. But there is a use for the half slabs. That's why I'm not bothering to break them, which would be a lot of hassle anyway. And that's that when creepers detonate, they tend to only break one layer of cobblestone. So yeah, that's useful. I think if I make it, if I make it too high and then just one in, that's probably enough. I'm just wondering whether it'll be dark enough for Enderman then. I think it will be. I think it'll still be, um, well not quite pitch black, but pretty close to pitch black for them. Because I know that they can they can spawn under um, a starlight anyway, so it should be fine. I don't know the exact lighting level they spawn under, but I, w I want it to be just about bright enough that I can see uh, creepers in here anyway. Which, to be fair, uh, requires any light at all. Because <laughs> they are bright green. <laughs> uh, well, I've sealed myself in. <laughs> I didn't make a door. God damn it. Alright, let's, let's do the obvious things. Let's make a spare crafting table, so I have one here. Because I'm lazy. Let's break this. This is where the door is going to go, I guess. Slap that there. And, oops. Yeah. Let's make three doors apparently now, because apparently you can't make just one anymore. Um, I'm actually gonna do this. I kind of like the idea of having um, crafting tables as part of the floor, because it's just way more efficient. Whoops. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna widen this so that, that that's less likely. <laughs> uh, do I want to double layer this door? I think I might. Yeah, zombies. I really should be using an iron door as the problem. And I also do not want creepers to be able to hide back here, so I'm going to block this up a little bit. The problem is if they've got a corner at all, they can bloody hide in it. So I might actually have to just do this for now. This is the least efficient way of doing this imaginable. I should have just moved the doors over, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Alright. I could be using half slabs for this, but I think I have enough wood that there's really no advantage to bothering do that. Oh, actually, there is a slight advantage in this, that things won't spawn on top of this one by one across. <laughs> uh, hmm. Is that advantage enough? <laughs> nah, I'll just slide the outside, it's fine. I'll make it one more in as a result. And that should be fine. Uh, I don't know if any particular mobs are going to give me trouble in here. I'm assuming uh, Endermen... Oh god, are Endermen too short for this? Too 
tall for this even. Crap, they might be too tall for this. I definitely have to get rid of the second layer in then at least. Uh, the room is only to stop spiders climbing out anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just I'll just like the outside. the double layered door so things can't break out too easily. Alright. I don't really need to light around here, but I'm going to. <laughs> uh, slap this up there. Get around here. <laughs> I love how newbie this looks. <laughs> this is the sort of thing that a person who is really, really new to my Minecraft makes and then feels really good about themselves. <laughs> Thus, it's exactly the sort of thing I make. <laughs> Mommy, mommy, look what I did. Yes, dear. Very impressive. I don't know what brought that on. Okay, um, so... I have a feeling this is going to be really unsuccessful, but... Yeah. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> Only ten minutes in. It feels much longer, but that's because of the recording muck-up. <laughs> Let's retrieve some. Wheat. No seeds, really. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I could have gone down and got um, more bone meal as well, but obviously I haven't done that. Plant, plant. Plant, plant, plant. I've got a full roster now. What? Got a full field. If that's what you want to call it. Got a full structure thing. More bread. That practically replaced all the bread I made before, so clearly this is working. Uh, you just smelt that gold ore. Or what? Uh, huh, huh. I don't get it. Okay, let's slap this way. There, and I'm gonna bring another stack of 64. Don't really need the lapis on me, to be honest. Don't need the soul sand on me. I'm putting things away now at this point, um, just because I probably will need the inventory space. I'm also gonna have to make another chest soon. <laughs> Actually, got so much stuff. Because I will be going back to the nether, where I will probably die. Calling it now. Dead in this episode, probably. I just, I don't want to fish. I'm so bored. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't have the patience for it. Oh, that's an issue. Um, damn it, I wish I had a replacement. I'll just make a couple iron ones, it's fine. We d you don't need diamond in the nether. Famous last words. I'm pretty sure you don't need diamond in the nether. Let's make a golden pickaxe. Ha <laughs> ha. No. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, I might make one spare shovel as well. Just in case. Very unlikely to end up needing that. Uh, anything else I need? No, I think that's all good. Definitely don't need this in my inventory. Hmm. Can't use water in the nether, obviously. I'll keep the flint and steel on me. Okay, uh, going back to the nether. Once again, I'm not going to bother trimming all this. I probably should, yeah, I probably should actually try and get some apples. Why was it take so long? <laughs> don't have the patience. Well, it doesn't take that long, but it takes long enough that my patience wears out, which uh, is not any length of time at all. <laughs> Actually, it's not even that bad. Yeah, in, I was going <laughs> to gonna say famous last words there, but... Ugh, oh, goddammit. Yeah, it is that bad. Come on! This is the one downside to this method. <sighs> I'm going to burn through this axe before I'm done with this tree. I should have made a spare axe as well. I'm gonna regret that. Uh, come on. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck was David? Not very freaking much. Because he'd get bored really quickly. Come on! <laughs> no! That was gonna happen. <laughs> Alright. Let's make another axe. Damn it. 
Uh, I'm too hot for this shit. It's raining in game, and that's how humid I feel. Bloody drenched in this t-shirt. Hot. Alright, um... How much more wood is there up here? This is unbelievable. I'd say there's probably even wood hidden up here as well. I'm not happy about this. I'm not at all happy about this. Oh, come on! This is why I burned it down last time. The problem is burning it down tends to not give you any goddamn apples. I'm going back to the plant one tree at a time method, I swear to god. This is just... I'll put it this way. This is one of the best methods for getting a lot of wood. I no longer need wood. This is too much wood. I'm going to start using wood in the nether, purely because I'm collecting so much goddamn wood. Which is obviously a terrible decision, considering how quickly wood burns, but yeah. Was that enough? Please tell me there's not any more up there. I don't I don't even want to know. Problem is now I have to hang around, because otherwise all the apples will despawn. Fine, I'll fish for a bit, and then I'll go to the nether. Alright, let's see. Uh, did I put my fishing rod away? Oh. Wait, does the fishing rod work on ghasts? I genuinely have never seen that. I feel like it doesn't, but I also really hope it does. <laughs> I'll have to try that out. I I'm pretty certain it doesn't, but it would be so funny that <laughs> I have re no reason not to try that. Wow, that was quick. What the? I got a fishing rod with my fishing rod. <laughs> fishing rodception! Uh, unfortunately, it's a regular fishing rod with almost no durability left. How did that get in here? There's no one else here. What the heck? Two rapid fire catches. Oh, it's only fish. Oh, it's only fish, says the guy as he fishes. I should be able to catch a squid. Just a whole squid. Totally useless to me, of course, but yeah. I want, watch me just yank an entire cow out of the water. <laughs> Damn it, I jinxed myself by saying how quick those other two were. <laughs> And it's raining now as well, so just maximum particles. <laughs> oh, rotten flesh. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Actually, I'm gonna check, check up here and see if anything's dropped. Oh, are you serious? Did I break you? <sighs> Get out of here. Oh, you better not be tall as well. Good. I'm gonna lose my reason. Ugh. <sighs> So tired. You just can't sleep in this heat at all. Just keeps you up at night. Way too warm. <laughs> Come on. Come on, leather. Actually, even a book would be good. Actually, quite a lot of things would be good from this, but I haven't got any of the good things yet. I don't think. Well, I got a puffer fish, but it's just, I, I can't make use out of it at all until I find the fortress. Just to, which is true for a lot of things. I can do so much when I find the fortress. Uh, more fish. There. Because when, um, when I find the fortress, I can make... Well, assuming I'll find blazes there, which has sometimes not happened for me. Um, I can make so many potions. Just every time I come back up and go, Ooh, what do I need to do, potions? <laughs> um, I'll start culling things from my hotbar that I'm not using as often. I might not bother with a shovel, for example, if I can just have a load of potions. Or even just one extra potions for that for that uh, one shovel. Actually, that means I'm gonna need sand. Pretty sure I have some, but I don't have that much. Yeah, gotta check up here again. Oh, there is more wood up there. God damn it! Are you serious? Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. Minecraft trees, man. The bane of my existence. Where did I see that block? Out right here. Oh, I got an apple. <laughs> that makes me feel slightly better. I got another golden apple now. Uh, I'm wondering whether uh, I should make one more golden apple or um, hold off until I have enough gold for a notch apple. Because that might take them another while yet. I think I might make one more golden apple. Because I think it's going to be quite a while before I have the gold for a notch apple. And if I go back to the nether, it's probably worth having the extra one. I 
mean, if there's a situation where the other two don't save me, I'm not gonna survive. But, uh, yeah, still. Just don't wanna end up in a situation where I run out of them by mistake. I haven't had to use any yet, obviously, so. That's good. I have a sneaking suspicion there's at least one more piece of wood up there. Don't know that, but that's good. Hmm. All right, I'll fish once more and then I'm going to the Nether. I want at least at least five minutes of Nether searching, preferably longer to be honest. But if I could end off even just standing in front of the fortress, that'd be fantastic. It's not going to happen. I'm just going to go until I run out of time. But yeah, come on, something good. It's going to be a regular fish, isn't it? But come on, something good. Come on, come on. Give me something nice. Yes, yes! Oh. I cry every time. Okay, uh, let's go slap this junk away in the chest then. As soon as I can figure out how to navigate ledges. Um, just more saplings? Wood? Which I don't need. But I'm collecting anyway. Okay. Okay, might as well put that fish on the bloody smelt then. So that's why I'm using for anything else. And I'll make one more golden apple. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so I got three golden apples. That's good news. And I've got another apple, so I can make more. Well, one more. <laughs> I, I can make a notch apple if I get to the le uh, level of gold I need, which I think is almost 100. So, yeah, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Bloody spare fishing rod, are you serious? <laughs> I was not intending on catching a fishing rod with my goddamn fishing rod. Uh, I think I want as much food as I can get just in case, so I'm gonna collect all the. Is it worth it? I'm gonna collect all the fish from the uh, furnace in a moment. What? Oh, I only got the one piece back, and I obviously replanted it, so that's fine. Okay, um... What do I want to do here? Oops. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do it like that. That's fine. Okay. Okay, that should be enough. Um, so I've only got... Seven-ish minutes? to explore the nether. Let's do a quick check over here and see if anything has spawned. I think I see a skelly. I see a skelly. Oh, I can jump on the roof. I haven't thought about that. This is, I think it's two skellies and a spider. Oops. Lock that when I think of it. Yeah. This isn't the safest thing to do, but, um, my hearts are high enough and my armor is decent enough that it's probably just fine. Unfortunately, getting skellies has no advantage to me right now because I have the skelly spawner below, so I really don't need more. Oh well, that's fine. Nothing can get out of there at the moment anyway. Zombies can beat their way down through the door, but um, I think zombies only um, break through doors if there's someone there to break through too. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get moving. Really? Aghast immediately? Where are you? I'm gonna go right through the wall. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm literally just gonna mine in a direction. <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll mark off ends of the tunnel because that means I'm not using too many of my blocks. Obviously this is slower than running on the overworld, but it's also a little bit safer. Not massively safer because of the lava flows problem and uh, the chance that I might just step through a gap into nothing. Here lava as well now, but uh, still, and I've got golden apples on me, so it's not as if I'm going to instantly die from lava. I will if I fall into it, probably. Uh, I won't if it just sets me on fire and I get out of it. It'll be fine. Even if it gets me quite low, the golden apples should take care of that. God damn gas! This pick is going to break. You know what? I'm going to save the pick just in case I need obsidian from it at any point. I don't think it's going to matter much. Yeah, look, look, there's almost no difference uh, in speed between those two anyway. Um, there's no, um, 
I don't think there's anything that I'm gonna need it for, but on the very slight chance that I need it for obsidian, I'll keep the diamond pick for the moment. And I'll just burn through iron. It's fine, I've got more than enough. This is getting me quite far. Ooh. Well, that's interesting, just one block of it. <laughs> uh, that's not particularly surprising, but it being below my level so that it doesn't flow into me is. <laughs> I don't need to block off uh, entrances to caverns like that, thankfully, uh, in this instance. Because the only things that spawn here really are zombie pigmen, which don't attack me unless I look up. Gas, which definitely can't fit there. Uh, mag magma cubes, which can't fit through these tunnels anyway, and they're not that much of a threat. Pretty minor things, basically. My only concern is, because I can't see very far doing this, um, I might walk, go right past the, um, a fortress without ever noticing it, but it also gives me maximum distance, so I'll, I'll try that. I wonder if there's an optimum height for fortresses. I feel like there probably is, but I'm not going to look it up until uh, next time. I'm not going to bother right now. Burned through enough time already. Not damn gassed. Actually, that means that I'm at least very close to... Uh, surface one way or the other. Might be to the side of me though, so I might just go right past it. Yeah, I think I'm just under the surface. I'm tempted to check, but I also... Hang on. I don't want lava flows to drop on me. No? That way? Okay. I'm gonna burn through the two picks, I think, and then I have to pause. <laughs> Good news is, at the beginning of the next episode, I don't need to go back for food yet, which means I can just make a couple more iron picks and just continue doing this until I bloody find something or die. <laughs> die trying. Hopefully just find something. Don't particularly want to die just looking for the fortress. It's such a boring way to die. It's also one of my most common ways to die, just doing nothing of importance. <laughs> not a boss fight, no. Just not being able to find something and getting really annoyed. <laughs> Good god, this is getting far. Maybe I should have just stuck to the surface on the, uh, for, for the advantage of being able to see um, Fortress from a distance. Oh well, I'm committed now. I'll keep going until this pick breaks. And then I will take a break and pick up next time. Good god. Yes, finally, something. Doesn't matter if it's not the fortress. Mm. Kind of wish it was the fortress. I swear if a bloody gas knocks me off this, I'm going to be so annoyed. On the upside, I'll have a bit of warning because the gas is pretty much the only thing that will attack me at this height. And uh, it makes quite the noise when it does. Is there nothing else down there? I kind of want to go down and check. Hang on. Let's do this. Yeah, it seems like the thing to do. Slap those up there. Okay. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's... It looks like there might be a view over there, so I'm going to go around and have a look. Oh, I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to avoid my own slabs now. Sorry, my own uh, block placement now, because they're slabs, so I can just walk over them. <laughs> so I guess there is a decent advantage to using them. Well, a very minor advantage, but yeah. Okay, let me open. I kind of want to have a look out here. Gas is concerning me somewhat. At least I've got more than enough slabs to find my way back. I really just need- I need to turn my draw distance up. Hopefully this won't get too frame ready. Hmm. really wish that was it off in the distance, but I, I just don't- don't think so. <gasps> yes! Yes! That's it! That's it, I found it! 
right on time as well, because we are out of time. I'm going to make myself a little bunker. A little victory bunker. That's a fantastic place to end the episode. This is going to look like a tomb. <laughs> Boop. That's a great place to end off. Alright, so I'm going to end off there. Uh, thanks for watching. Next time we will explore the fortress. Hopefully not die. And uh, ideally find and kill some blazes. And if I find any wither skeletons, that will be icing on the cake. Bye!